Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Handmade of God. Here we have my little one Elijah. For those of you who don't know, this is Elijah. Elijah say hi. Hi. <laughs> so uh, in today's video, I wanted to um, show you two very easy uh, Lent activities that you can do with children. So this is like um, Lent crafts uh, that will also teach them uh, the meaning of Lent uh, and that way they can learn uh, as well as you know um, do these crafts and it's easier for them to understand uh, about this whole season of Lent. So this first activity is the simplest and most easiest you can ever do. <laughs> uh, all that you need is some brown paper like this. Uh, you just need some uh, brown paper and toothpicks. So that's all you need. So uh, what we are going to do is we are going to take our paper. Yeah, Elijah, can you hold this please? Okay, and we are just going to begin twisting the paper. So can you twist the paper for me? Yes, like that. Twist, twist. You're just going to twist the paper nicely and what you're going to do is you're going to bring these two ends together and then uh, you know you can secure it like maybe with uh, with the tape or uh, with glue or anything. What we are doing here is we are making Jesus's uh, crown of thorns. So let me just twist it a little bit more. So the more you tighten it, uh, it, it will help you get the, the shape better. And also it helps you um, bring the two ends together. So I'm just going to bring them together and secure them. So just a couple of twists. And then I just have some uh, clear tape here that we can use to secure the ends. Yeah? yeah. Can you hold this for me, Elijah? Hold it here. Hold like yeah hold it like that so I'm just going to take <laughs> yeah just gonna take some tape okay. and where is the end one sec one sec one sec we just secure this also secure the end um, we have the circle so what we're going to do now is we are going to pick um, 40 uh, toothpicks for the 40 days of Lent and you're going to prick it all along uh, and then that's gonna make it look like the crown of thorns yeah, yeah. so let's do that Elijah you want to do that So uh, we have the crown of thorns here. So while you are doing this craft with your child, you can tell them about, uh, you know, how Jesus suffered and how uh, they put, they made this crown of thorns for him. The blood, you know, how he bled because of it and how much of pain he endured, all uh, everything for us, and he died on the cross for us. So that way you can, you know, teach them and tell them the story about Lent. So once you finish the crown, uh, you can ask your kids to do something good throughout the 40 days of Lent. Um, for example, like give up something for Lent or do something for a friend do some good deed as such and every time they do a deed you can ask your children to remove one thorn from Jesus's crown so that way you can tell them if you do not want you know Jesus to be in pain you can you know you need to do so many good things and then try and remove all the thorns before Easter suppose you do, you still have a couple of toothpicks left uh, before Easter what you can do is just remove those uh, remaining toothpicks and instead fill this crown with flowers uh, you can put like you can adorn it with Easter lilies or you can just adorn it with um, you know different other colorful flowers uh, and it would it would be such a beautiful thing uh, to see on Easter morning so you've uh, removed Jesus of his suffering and you know you've made something beautiful out of his uh, crown of thorns so that is something that you can do and um, kids as they grow older they will understand uh, the meaning of Lent a lot better and they will engage in this activity a lot better and it will be such a beautiful thing to do as a family so let's move on to our second activity 
So uh, we are going to be making a prayer chain. Um, I remember my brother and I used to make this when we were kids, and it was uh, really fun to do. But uh, but I don't think I don't think we did it for Lent. I think we did it for Christmas. But still, we did have a lot of fun doing it, and there is so much of meaning. Uh, that you know that is put into it while make while doing this craft uh, so what you're gonna need for this is um, just any colorful paper so you have the construction book uh, or any paper even just plain paper is okay also fine and today I've just um, picked up some purple paper uh, for Lent and if you see I've drawn uh, lines on them so what we're going to do is first we are going to cut these lines so i've just drawn lines across and i'm going to cut these lines and you know get uh, long strips so let's do that first If you see I have uh, these strips of paper and what we're going to do now is on these strips of paper we are going to write uh, the names of people or a small prayer or intention on this and what we will do is then we will um, tape them this way the next one and then put it through this and then chain the other one so this way it becomes a prayer chain can you see <laughs> it's gonna be it's it's a very simple activity but also very meaningful uh, and then uh, we're gonna make uh, as many as we can and then you can you can display it on your altar or any place that you would need teacher mama hmm? teacher teacher yeah. oh you want to pray for your teacher yeah. okay okay so there's one you want to pray for your teacher So we have all our uh, prayers and our intentions here. So let's make this a chain. Yeah? Yeah. So I am going to twist it this way and glue it over at the ends. So we have our prayer chain. <laughs> it's nice, Melija. You like it? Yeah, okay, so we are going to just um, hang this on our altar. Well, That'll be a nice place. Hang it on the wall. Let's hang it on the wall? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you can put it up wherever you would like. Even if you have a big mantle, you can put it uh, across the mantle. It will look very pretty. So that's it for this uh, video, my dear friends. I hope you enjoyed uh, today's video. I hope you, uh, you know, uh, liked these two easy crafts uh, that you can do during this Lenten season. Um, if you do like my Catholic content, kindly like, share and subscribe to my channel. Um, and I would love to uh, have you in this community. I'll catch you all very soon, my dear friends. Until then, take care, stay safe and God bless. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>